Hey my loved ones, welcome back to my channel. So today's video, I am going to tell you guys how I slayed the back of my 360 frontal. Because I know I watch a lot of videos here on YouTube. Nobody really likes to show the back, but I am going to show you the back of my hair right now. And I had help from my best friend Wednesday. So this is a 360 with two bundles. Um, I have my hair up right now because I want you guys to see the back of the um, 360. And uh, later on in the video, I will take the uh, bun down so you could kind of see how the hair looks. And the hair that I am rocking is from omgqueen.com. And their hair is very affordable. It is very nice hair. I'm not sure if it's an AliExpress vendor or not. But my hair came to me in, I want to say, two days. The shipping was super, super fast. Um, I got a 360 closure in a 16-inch. I have an 18-inch bundle and a 20-inch bundle in my hair right now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the back of my hair right now. And I'm going to tell you guys how I customize it because... When I first installed the unit, I did not like how the back came out. And I see why a lot of people don't show the back for that reason. I want to come on here and tell you guys what I did to customize the back of my 360. Okay, so let me show you the back of it. As you can see, it is just realistic. You can lift it up. It probably has some residue from the gel, but I just have to clean that off with alcohol. I can lift it up. I put it down and as you can see that is how it looks all the way up okay behind the ear the side Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what I did to customize this unit. When I first applied the unit, I made the wig and I um, put the frontal onto my mannequin head. I used one of these dome caps um, for my wig. <coughs> and this dome cap is made from Q-Fit. So I made the wig, um, like I said I used a 16 inch, um, no an 18 inch and a 20 inch bundle and the frontal is a 16 inch. So when I put on the wig, I got to be glued the front and I glued got to be glued around the whole perimeter of my head, except I have an anchor braid going this way in the back of my head. So um, my best friend Wednesday sold the uh the wig on going this way not going around is this horizontal or vertical well the braid is going this way so she sewed on the braid going this way through the wig and not going around how we usually make the wig so you can't see the string through the wig so we got to be glued that down and my lace frontal did have adjustable straps and that was a problem for me um, the adjustable straps, I think I cut too much lace off after the adjustable straps. So it was hard to glue the back of the frontal because you had the adjustable straps right there. So that is not going to stick to your neck. You need the lace. So it lasted for about a day, but it was like real heavy. And then it came like all the way down here. And that is not where my natural nape line is so the lace was down here so every time i do this it will kind of lift up and it will kind of like snag my hairs that i have back there so what we did to customize the unit was we cut the adjustable strap off from here to here and also you know how the elastic is inside the loop for the adjustable straps we just took the elastic part out of the lace so we kept the lace but we removed the elastic part from the lace. So after that, we cut, after we cut the elastic band off, I made sure it was a little bit lace 
well it is hair it, there is lace right there in this hair so after we cut the adjustable strap off we sewed the end of the wig to that anchor braid going this way and so the little bit of lace that was left we got to be glued that down so now it doesn't bother me when I do that and I don't feel it lifting or anything like that and the got to be glued method to me it lasts about two to three days if you take a bath it's it's gonna lift so your best bet is to either wrap it before you take a bath just make sure the water is not too hot but that is how we customize the back of this lace front so like I said we cut above the elastic band sewed the wig onto the anchor braid that's going that way and then glued the rest of it to the nape of the neck okay so now I'm going to go ahead and show you what the hair looks like down and this is some pretty hair from OMG Queen. And where have I been? I watched a couple of um, videos on OMG Queen hair. And I was like, oh my God, that hair is so pretty. And it is super cheap. I paid $161 for this hair. But look at this hair. This is Brazilian. This is not Malaysian because, you know, Malaysian looks like this. So... I could run my fingers through it. I haven't had any shedding out of this hair. And I notice like when it's dry and I don't uh, moisturize it. Just on a daily basis, basis the pattern kind of falls. But as soon as you wet it, it comes right, snaps right back into place. And the other day I straightened this part out. And I was trying to, to, to decide if I wanted to straighten it or not. So I decided not to. I wanted to keep it in its natural state for a little while before I started messing with it. And all I did was get a wet a wet rag and I did this to the hair and it curled up instantly. But look how beautiful this frontal is. It's just absolutely gorgeous. And I can't wait to start playing in it i only had it in for three days so that is what it looks like but look at the hair just look at that and i did not trim my baby hair because i kind of like them this long and i'm going to insert a couple of pictures so you can see how i rocked the hair so far so so far i wore the little top knot and half up half down but other than that look at this hair though and this is from OMG Queen Hair. And it is full from the top all the way to the bottom. But look at that hair. It looks like it's growing out of my scalp, right? So, yeah. I just wanted to share with you guys that little secret. Because I was wondering why a lot of people wasn't showing the back of their hair with the 360 but it is kind of hard to try to customize it because I don't know I should have got one without the adjustable straps but this is my first time so you know trial and error I'm just going to try to keep doing different things to see what works and that worked for me it really did it is like undetectable in the back you cannot really tell that it is a lace front or a 360 okay so that is what i want to share with you guys today don't forget to please rate comment and subscribe i will leave the link down to the um omg queen store down below and i think that's all i wanted to tell you guys like i said i um glued it down with the got to be glued gel and it lasts probably like three days so yeah that is my 360 and i know it's not styled or nothing right now but i wanted to hurry up and come on this video uh this camera to show you guys the back of my head okay so thank you guys for tuning in like i said don't forget to please write comment and subscribe the link to the store will be down below and i'll talk to you guys real, real soon bye